Frank, ask Kim what happened the last time she went to Australia and who she saw on television there. Kim, what happened the last time Frank, you went to Australia? Did you see Sam Rubin on the, on the telly? I saw Sam on TV. He's wildly famous in Australia. <laughs> I'm Please. not joking. It's <laughs> You're the, let me He's tell really you, we've got about 600 Australian <laughs> guests on. You're the first one who's ever said anything close to that. Because I'm just breaking through now? No, that, you really are. You're, you're a big hit, big breakthrough star. Oh, thank you. That's wow. very nice. Please, <laughs> Please I'm very, stop. I'm very in touch with that. You are uh, Producer uh, Roxanne's like, perhaps you should move to Australia. All right, so <laughs> back your backs. All right, so here's the thing. And we people have talked about this in kind of a jokey way forever. The Dancing with the Stars is this hotbed of romance, and uh, you know, the couples find one another. Mm -hmm. But this actually happened to you. <laughs> Were you surprised that it happened to you? Um, yeah, I mean, I had the best um, season last season. It was the 10th anniversary. I came back for it. And, um, yeah, I ended up meeting Robert, and uh, it was amazing. And, and, did, and was that something you figured out right from the get-go, or does it develop over time? Or? Um, well, we just we instantly got along really well. He's such a nice guy. He's so warm and friendly. And, um, yeah, we ended up just having the best experience doing the show together. And he's, he's amazing. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. All right. Now, you, now you, you judge, you know, the show is seen all around the world. You judge the Australian version. Yes. So when you do that, and you visited the American version recently, what do you think of our current crop? Oh, they're amazing. Um, I've been at the show. I was doing a little bit of uh, stuff for this um, All Access show. So I've been there, and it's such a great season. I think it's the season of massive personalities. Um, we lost Gary Busey, unfortunately, last week. I loved him. I thought he was really good. Yeah. Um, but it's, yeah, really big personalities, and it's such a great season. Last night was great with the switch up, uh, which is always challenging because you get thrown a new partner, and uh, I think that they all did a really good job. Uh, but it's a great season yet again. They always somehow end up with incredible cast season after season. And, and, and do you, th I, I would imagine, I don't know if this is a conversation the pros have amongst themselves or you just have it in your own mind. Do you go, you know what, I think Bindi's going to go pretty uh, far. I think Alexa's going to go pretty far. Do you I instantly, Bindi was just incredible. So being Australian or maybe I'm a little biased, <laughs> but um, I think that she's probably going to take it out. I think she's so good. Nick Carter as well. Um, I did love the Backstreet Boys, and uh, he's great, so yeah, it's a really, really good season. The thing that everybody marvels about, and this would be true of you and so many of the pros, you guys are all so fabulously fit, and it's like, we want to be fit like you. Oh, is that even a realistic goal? Well, that's the thing. All the celebrities that go onto the show end up transforming themselves. Obviously, they, they transform their bodies because they're working six hours a day. Um, and I've actually come out with this DVD, and I've got a book coming out. It's 5678 Fitness. And basically, I'm giving people at home um, this workout that you would, you know, the, the celebrities do on Dancing with the Stars. So you're learning like a salsa, a cha cha, and it's in a cardio uh, format. So you're learning how to dance and you're getting fit at the same time. Uh, and it's what the celebrities end up doing, and that's how they get into such great shape. And, and it's building confidence as well. So, uh, and as we, as we watch you do it, it seems so, this is a fabulous video, by the way, it seems so effortless. But can, you could do it, Sam. Can anybody really do have it? You seen, have you seen Sam? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure have you, you really seen Sam dance? I haven't, but I think you could have some moves. Okay, well, I think it's entirely possible. And it's five, six, <laughs> is five, six, seven, eight, is that the count that everybody always Well, that's uses? the thing, it's a dancer thing, you know, five, six, seven, eight, then you dance. Right. So it's like, you know, you start to move. So that's why I called it five, six, seven, eight, because to me, that's what I grew up with. And it means let's go, let's move, let's start this. So. Um, yeah, it's really fun, and um, anyone can do it. You don't have to be a dancer to do it. Kim's five, six, seven, eight fitness video. Uh, the book as well come out early uh, January when we want to transform ourselves. Yeah. Twenty sixteen. Yeah. Kim, nice to see you. We'll see if your predictions are, are correct. I kind of think, I think they will Bindi's be. I think Bindi's gonna take it. Okay. Yeah. Very good. All right. <laughs> good Thank you. To see you. Thank Thanks. you.